Hi guys, welcome back to another video and this time we will show you the last version of Blim Scene. This version, okay? And uh, in, in this version uh, we have the news, uh, we have now two player controller support with a USB hub. So you don't need to modify manually, okay? Another new is uh, automatic metadata scrapping uh, so you don't need to create game.ini file okay so if you have uh, the bin and QA uh, files this application will create that file automatically okay another important feature is uh, auto download the cover okay you don't need to download the cover manually and resize okay so now let's start okay first of all download we will save in a temp folder in my case ps classic hack Okay, now unzip the file. Open the new folder and copy all folders into our pen drive. In my case, as usual, my pen drive is letter I. Okay, copy. Okay, now in our pen drive, go to games folder and here we have two example folders with an example files, okay, and, and we will replace those files with a real game, okay? Select these files, the bin, q, png, bin and q and delete. also this leak file okay so now we have only game.ini and pss.config okay also we can delete this file so now blimsync this new version of blimsync detects if the game.ini exists or not okay delete and now we will copy a real game to folder 1 game data. For example, Tekken 3. In order to download automatically the cover of the game, okay, you need internet connection. If you don't have internet connection, the cover doesn't download, okay? So now we have the bin and Q file of the game and this config file. Okay, let's back to the root directory, to the root folder of the pen drive and enter into blimsync folder and execute blimsync.exe file. Okay, now back to the games folder, one folder, game data, and now we have a 
game mini file and the cover file tekken3.png ok all is auto now we copy a second game ok delete bin q leak and png file and game.ini and copy that game Sweet Coden 2 Ok, copy, and now if we want to add more games, you need to create uh, folders with the number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, ok, now folder 3, create game data folder, And inside the folder, we need to copy pss.config. Okay, so back to the games folder, one uh, or, th or two folder is the same, and copy this file. Okay, copy. Okay, and now we will copy a third game. And remember, after copy the files, you need always to execute in that folder, in this folder, blimsync, this file, ok? Always, blimsync.exe. This update the database of the application. Ok, now the pen drive is ready, so go to the PlayStation. It's probably that uh, in some cases the uh, creation of the game ini file and the download cover automatically doesn't work. Okay, in that case we need to copy the game dot ini file of the other game. Copy go back to the folder 3 game data and past okay in this case i will edit the file with notepad plus plus okay and in this case we will write the name of the game manually It's important this uh, this part of the file disk. Okay, in this uh, level we need to change this name with this name of the bin and Q file. Okay, so copy this name, copy 
And now... Without the extension, only the name, okay? Now save and close. And now we need to download the cover, okay? So go to Google. Okay, and search of Dino Crisis PS1 cover. Okay. Okay, now we have to download this cover. Okay. Save fast. Games, Dino Crisis. Save. Okay. Now we can open with Microsoft Paint. Okay, now we need to change the resolution of the image okay change the size check pixels and check this box and put 226 and 226 okay accept and now say fast important png picture okay save and close Now we have this picture. Okay, let's back to the pen drive. And now we can copy the cover to the pen drive. And we need to rename with the same name as bin or Q file. Okay. As is. Okay, let's back to the blimsync folder and execute again blimsync.exe. And now the pen drive is ready to run games on the PS Classic, okay? Here we have the console in the pen drive that we are going to connect in port number 2 of the console. The power cord of the console needs to be unplugged for at least 5 seconds. We connect the power cable and turn on the console. And if everything goes well, we will see that the LED flashes as we are seeing right now. This means the console detects the pen drive. Okay guys, we have the three games here, I just seen before. Okay, let's play on Tekken 3 to check the two controllers with a USB hub, okay? Okay, as you see, two controllers work. Okay, let's back to the menu.
Ok. One letter. It's okay. Okay, so good and two works perfectly. Go to the main menu. And guys, as usual, and if you have any question or that or or you need anything, please comment and stay alert, okay? Stay alert to the channel because in the next days I will publish more tutorials, more news about the PS Classic, okay? See you soon. Bye.